Hi, welcome to the MedCenter.com. Uh, in this video, we are continuing with our series on the uh, Pearson and Excel International GCSE exams, uh, further PLBACs. Okay, this uh, is the January 2023 exam. I put it here. Further pure maths. This is paper 2R. Okay, paper 2R. And the paper reference is 4PM1 slash O2R. Okay. So before we look at the question, uh, please uh, share this video as much as you can. Uh, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, give this video a like. And please visit the MathCenter.com, okay, where we offer courses in IGCSE, A levels, and IB maths, physics, and accounting courses. Okay, so let's start slowly. Okay, this is question number two here yeah, in this paper. Look it up. Uh, I have just written the stuff that I need to solve the problem. Uh, the details you can look up in the actual question paper. So two a can't be easier than this, right? Two a, yeah, three x minus eight less than 5x plus 3. They ask you to find values of x that satisfy this inequality. Note, this is a linear inequality, so pretty easy for us. Yeah? So let's see. Uh, whichever way you want to do it. Yeah? I brought the 5x to this side. So 3x minus 5x. Right? And then I have less than. Uh, take this minus 8 to this side. It comes. Looks good. Yeah? So if I divide by negative 2, then it becomes x bigger than minus 11 over 2. Careful about this, yeah? Okay? The question is set deliberately this way so that, you know, we, uh, you might be tempted to make some mistakes here. Yeah? So just do it slowly. Bring the 5x to this side. So 3x minus 5x. Good. And then I brought the minus 8 to this side. So this is easy from this line to this line. Just be, get, be careful though. When you divide by a negative 2, then you need to change the sense of the symbol. So it becomes x bigger than negative 11 over 2. Yeah? Easy. So let's settle B, okay? Uh, 4x squared minus 7x plus 1 bigger than 6 minus 2x squared. So this is a quadratic inequality. So just the same method. There's nothing hard about this. So this is uh, 4x squared and minus 7x and 1. Let me just check the question. Good. So I have got what? 6x squared. What did I do? I brought this 2x squared to this side and I have minus 7x and then I have minus 5 bigger than zero. Okay? Just clear on the algebra, right? It's 4x squared plus 2x squared and minus 7x here and 1 minus 6 minus 5 done. Right? So let's see whether we can factorize this. Uh, uh, I've got, let's see, yeah? So I have 3x, I have 2x and I have 5, oops, I have 5 and I have 1 minus and plus let me just take that, right? Minus 10x plus 3x and this is minus 5, good. Yeah, checks, right? So now I have, uh, this is a curve with my A is positive. So I have this. So let me just plug in the values here. This is 5 over 3 and this is minus half. So let me put that here. Okay? So uh, this is bigger than 0. So I need this part. I need this part. So my answer is what? X is less than negative half x is bigger than 5 over 3. Okay, and we are done. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, give this video a like and share as much as you can. Please visit the MathCenter.com for all your maths, physics and uh, accounting needs for A-levels, IGCSE and IB. Thank you very much for watching.